Hey guys, this is Vince of Team. Welcome to Let's Discuss The Walking Dead. This is for Season 4, Episode 2. For the most part, I didn't really like the episode that much. Um, I thought it was a little too predictable. Um, they almost set up too much stuff in the season premiere. At least, I think so. I do gotta give the writers a little bit of credit for not being totally predictable with uh, the shower scene or um, going into the bathroom or whatever. Because um, usually during the zombie apocalypse, um, when you go into a bathroom at night with no lights on, um, usually you're a uh, zombie child. So. Um, at least uh, they kind of avoided that. Um, and... I was watching The Talking Dead, and uh, Greg Nicotero was just talking about uh, uh, paying homage to uh, Day of the Dead with uh, the guts falling out and stuff like that when, uh, when he was chowing down on a uh, one deep sleeper uh, in the cell. Um, and I was trying to think back to the movie. Um, this this is, of course, the original, not the remake. Um, uh, if you've uh, never seen the remake, like on Xbox Live or uh, PSN or anything, um, they did make a remake of Day of the Dead, uh, a couple of years ago, um, really, um, that kind of sucked, I started off Netflix, and it was, it was just horrible, but, anyways, um, the scene that I think he was talking about was, uh, when they were, when, uh, some of the zombies got into, uh, where, um, the military people were, uh, were set up, um, and, uh, there was a whole bunch of zombies chowing down on, uh, like, the base commander or whatever, who, who really was a dick, um, he, he kind of deserved to be eaten alive and stuff, but, um, well, uh, while they were munching on him, um, and they were tearing him apart, um, he, he was basically, like, uh, taunting the zombies while they were doing it, um, uh, like, while they were eating his guts, he was like, uh, you know, I hope you choke on it, so, um, yeah, just kind of a, kind of a badass, um, at least I think so, so, but, you know, hey, what else are you gonna do, uh, are you gonna sit there and cry and stuff, um, it's not exactly like, uh, they're gonna stop or anything. They were also talking about, uh, how the sickness going around is kind of like the 1918 Spanish flu. And I'm thinking to myself, um, maybe it is the Spanish flu. Because I, I know they keep some of that stuff in the um, CDC um, just to do experimentation on it and stuff. Um, and I'm wondering if uh, maybe when the CDC went up and exploded and stuff, uh, Maybe some of that virus actually survived, like, uh, just enough of it to, uh, <sighs> do something with that. I don't know, like, some of the walkers or whatever, so. Um, who knows, maybe some of the walkers are actually carriers, and, of course, they can't die, so. Um, because, if you also think about it, um, there's a lot of walkers outside the fence, that I have gotten, uh, like, blood-stained eyes and, uh, you know, foaming, or, well, coming out of the mouth and the ears and stuff like that. So, um, supposedly when they died, they, uh, weren't, like, bitten by, uh, walkers. They, uh, just actually naturally died and, uh, came back. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of wondering if, uh, if some of the walkers that we're going to be seeing this year, um, they're not going to be like, uh, basically the old type zombies. Um, well, old for the series, I guess you could say. Um, if they're going to be a little newer, like, uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, walkers that died like, uh, two years ago are going to be like, uh, really rotten and all that kind of stuff, but, uh, um, like, if you died six months ago, um, your body is probably going to look a little more fresh. At least, uh, at least I think so. Um, 
Granted, you know, um, you're still going to be uh, starting to rot away and stuff, but um, you're not going to be as rotten, I think. Okay, my theory as to why um, Michonne was uh, crying when uh, she was holding Judith, um, I think that she probably had a little kid of her own, and maybe even a little girl about uh, about the same age. Um, she was alive when uh, when this whole thing started. Um, I'm thinking that maybe uh, her boyfriend and uh, like her brother or brother-in-law or whatever, um, they turned and uh, of course they went after the little kid first and uh, ate it like right in front of her. Um, that's where I think that she got the two walkers. Was that uh, you know, she she just uh, kind of messed them up um, in a way, kind of out of spite, and also in a way, kind of a uh, in a way to, uh, to keep a little bit of a uh, her former life uh, kind of close to her to kind of keep her sane, but um. Yeah, for for a while, um, of course that that probably didn't work. Uh, and I'm not talking about uh, when she was actually talking to her dead boyfriend. So, just you know, if this was the case, then uh, she'd actually be talking to her dead boyfriend. Like uh, he'd be right in front of her, like his actual physical body. But, uh, yeah, that that's just a theory for. For right now, so I'm glad that they actually found the the rat carcasses, or well, half rat carcasses. Um, and I kind of thought that they'd uh, throw it into the pig slop, but uh, apparently they didn't do that. So, um, at least they did kind of find them. So, um, that is uh, my other thing with uh, some of the walkers actually being infected with a. Uh, the virus that's actually killing them right now, so like uh, the Spanish flu one, not, not the Walker virus, yeah, not the Walker virus, but um, because um, it'd be kind of ironic if you think about it, because uh, like bubonic plague and uh, well, many plagues throughout history have been been carried by rats, so um, I guess in a way that would uh, kind of be poetic justice, but. Um, yeah, still, um, I don't know about, uh, actually, uh, going around and feeding the walkers, uh, like live rats or whatever. Um, and I did, uh, find it a little funny, um, I, I know it's kind of, a more of a law, but, um, how, uh, they had to, like, do, uh, so much trickery with that, with like the rats actually dying and stuff, like uh, having to build like animatronics and all this kind of stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, um, okay, um, for one, you know, like 30, 40 years ago, something like that, um, they really wouldn't have even bothered doing that. Um, they probably would have just, you know, killed the rats, but, um, I'm also thinking it's a little ironic that uh, they went through and they did so much stuff to actually help the rats actually survive and stuff. Um, and it is a show about people getting eaten. So, kind of a weird thing, I think. But, you know, um, I, th I think it was, uh, yeah, it was uh, the original Poltergeist. Um, at the very end, um, the dead bodies that come out of the ground, like, uh, in the, uh, half-complete, uh, swimming pool and stuff like that, um, those are actual dead bodies that they, uh, dug out of a graveyard, because, um, it was legal at the time, and, um, plus it was, uh, just too expensive for them to, well, they said it was too expensive for them to, to actually get like artificial ones, so so they went with uh, real dead bodies. Um, it's probably why uh, basically everybody in the Poltergeist movies uh, died like uh, 
within a couple of years, but yeah, just uh, one of those weird things, I guess. I can really understand um, the people getting killed like uh, in isolation a block, um, basically because uh, that's an abandoned part of the prison. Um, so people really aren't supposed to be there. Um, that is why I think that the governor is there. Um, I think the uh, governor is in a kind of an isolated cell, um, like way in the back of the prison, um, surrounded by like a, you know, killer dolls, kind of like a Michonne was uh, in in the last season. So um, I think he he kind of learned. Uh, should do that to kind of camouflage himself. Um, I think that the two there um, probably uh, actually heard a little bit of movement. So, um, yeah, he, he probably uh, just took them back there and, uh, you know, he killed them and he dragged out the bodies and stuff. Uh, I kind of think that... Uh, Maybe lighting them on fire was uh, not such a good idea because, um, you know, it's a little overkill. It would just uh, take too much time and stuff, I think, to could douse them in uh, gasoline and light them on fire, but uh, just kind of a theory to me, so. Um, <coughs> and. What I think he should have done was uh, probably lock them in the cell um, instead of uh, like actually killing them. Um, I don't know, like uh, gave them an air aneurysm or, or something like that, so that uh, um, people there would uh, just naturally assume that they had a natural death and. Uh, kind of died that way from, uh, like, being sick and stuff, um, I don't know, maybe he wants himself to kind of be known, because, uh, he wants to kind of scare people, uh, on the inside even more than they are, but, um, yeah, I, I have no idea what, uh, what he's going to be, uh, planning to do for the next couple of episodes, if it is him, so, which, of course, I think it is, but, um, because basically everybody's been, or everything's, uh, been kind of leaning that way, I think, so. But, I'm gonna sign up for now. This is a video for Dean, you've been watching. Let's discuss The Walking Dead. This has been for Season 4, Episode 2. Um, so I will, uh, see you next week for Episode 3.